OK, so let's say I want to solve tan of x plus 3 pi equals 4.1 between 0 and 2 pi radians. So first of all, inverse tan both sides. OK, so inverse tan of 4.1 in radians is 1.33 to 3 sig fig. OK, so then sketch tan between 0 and 2 pi. OK, so 4.1's up there. So there's going to be two solutions. I've just found one of them, 1.33. The second I can find by adding on pi. Which is 4.47. OK. So now you want to apply the transformation. So subtract 3 pi from both sides. OK. So 1.33 and 4.47. So that gets me minus 4.95 to 3 sig fig. And for this one, inverse tan of 4.1, take away 3 times pi, which is minus 8.09. OK. So, now the thing is, right, that in order to then get solutions that are between 0 and 2 pi, which neither of these are, OK, what I'd then want to do is I would then want to um, add on pi progressively in order to then get myself solutions between 0 and 2 pi. But the thing is, right, that not only does adding pi to minus 8.09 get me back to that one, but adding on pi progressively until I get to two solutions that are between 0 and 360. Funnily enough, I add pi to that, then I add another pi, and I get back to 1.33. And then adding on pi to that, I get to the 4.47. OK? So they are still the two solutions that I want. Now, the reason for this is that, well, tan has a period of pi. And what I've done is I've done a transformation, a translation by the vector minus 3 pi 0, which has just picked up this curve and shifted it 3 pi to the left. But what happens is that each time I'm subtracting pi, and moving it pi to the left, it is um, superimposing itself on itself. So, in actual fact, I've got this 3 pi part from down here, which is mapped back onto this, and so it is crossing the curve in precisely the same two places. OK, so applying the transformation that I did there made no difference. So in actual fact, this is precisely the same equation as tan x equals 4.1. That translation made no difference to the solutions whatsoever.